Greetings everybody, I am Lobo and welcome back to episode 4 of Rhyme. Let's go grab Little Red Riding Hood over here real quick before he has a chance to escape. Don't you walk away from me! Uh, uh, just walk into the wall. I know there's a secret door over here. Where is it? You have running start from platform 9 and 3 quarters. No, they don't work. Alright, well whatever. What do we have here? Got this uh this king guy in front of the tower, and we have all his followers rejoicing at the side of that magnificent tower. Which is interesting. Bunch of tower worshippers. Let's yell at more fire. I still don't know if that does anything. Doesn't matter. We're gonna do it anyway. It doesn't take too much time out of our day. I wish this this uh red cloak guy would stop glitching through the wall. I mean I'm sure he's tired of it too. That, that can't be comfortable. I mean, could you imagine like every time you walk towards the wall you just glitch inside of it? That would suck. There's a there's a thing up here. Let's go grab this real quick. Just snatched it up. Just snatched it up. And uh Yeah. Why not? Let's go uh let's go put it in this thing. Solve that puzzle in record time. Oh. Oh. What is this? Ha! Oh, hey Fox Mulder. You see how somebody lumberjacked the uh, the ancient trees in the middle? I did not do that. I'm not responsible for that one. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Um, uh, before we head in there, I want to go the ways we haven't gone yet and just make sure we're not missing out on too much. And that's not, you know, just like collectibles and all that stuff. I'm not really super interested in those. I don't know what they do. Uh, mostly I just want to make sure I take in whatever this game has to offer. I like doing that with games. I like just seeing the little extra details and just, I don't know, kind of enjoying the stuff that, you know, I miss. It's, it's not like just the end destination. It's a journey as well. And I just want to, I want to see this dead end. <laughs> That's uh, all we missed was a dead end. Okay. Well, let's go and uh, rejoin Fox Mulder by the Lumberjack Petrified Trees, and uh, we'll see what puzzles await us there. Doing puzzles is like an interesting interesting way to go about, you know, making your way through a place. Like, do you imagine that the people, that uh, the ancient people that lived here, just kept forgetting their keys? And they're like, well, you know, we need to figure out a way to get around without keys, but we need to have this door locked, so uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's make a puzzle that takes you a half hour to solve. Actually, no. No, you know the solution. You know the solution. If you know the solution, it'll take you five minutes. But, you know, anybody that, that you know, has to, uh, has to figure out for the first time, well, they're going to be here a while. Oh, come on, Mulder. Just disintegrated again. My imaginary friend just disintegrated for, like, the 15th time. And, uh, since now we're alone, we're going to go ahead and just kind of walk around real quick. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what's going on in this place. We'll, uh, try to get a feel for what all there is around here, because this seems like a very large area. So, I just want to see what this place has to offer. I'm wondering, like, is this something we can do now? Because, like, the, the things, the spirit balls, they take a, they take a while to actually hit the orb, or the, the button. Like, the... You know, that thing. And they start, uh, they turn on the faucet. So this is how you turn on the water here. I don't know. That little sphinx statue up here. Let's see, this one we just gotta find the keys for. And I'm guessing that... I don't know. I don't know what's going on back here. Hmm. So what do we want to do first? We want to follow the big glowing fish balls. Or do we want to do something else? That is the question. So we haven't been that way yet. But like this center, this center puzzle right here, like I'm wondering, like you see how they take a while to get there? I'm wondering if there's like a order I can do them in. Like if some of them take longer than others, and if we hit the one that takes the longest first and the second longest in the shortest amount of time, can we activate all three at the same time, because that seems like what this is. It's getting all three activated simultaneously. 
So there must be a way to to do this. We just gotta figure out which one takes the longest to reach its uh its button. So that one's going now. But it stops before that one gets there. We can't we came from that way. You know what? What do we want? We want a eeny meeny money mo. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. We're gonna go the way Fox Mulder wanted us to go. Because we'll just do all the things that he wants to do. Alright, so it looks like what we need to do. Got the tower and the two arches, so we need to see that's we need to get a fishbowl in that top thing right there because that'll be one, two, and then three. So we need to get that fish ball that's in the middle of the tower all the way up to the top somehow. That's uh, that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. Um, so, let's see what's over here real quick. If we can get up here. There's a couple of little dudes up there, but it doesn't look like we can get around there. Not yet, anyway. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, make our way to the tower then. Ha! Oh, for real, does, uh, does that do anything at all? Whoa, perspective change. Thanks for the warning. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not going back that way. This place is dangerous. It's in violation of every building code ever. Do you want to do you want to support this bridge? Oh, no, it'll be fine. We need support on bridges. Just let that thing float. Let that bad boy float. Can I get around here, please? Thank you. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> you win this time, gravity. Okay. Gravity always, always wins. No, I, I clearly did not mean to leap off the ledge. That was not in my, uh, you know, this time, this time we're going to face the wall and then, then we'll press that button. Okay. Box motor, where are you going? What do we have here? All right, so you operate that one, which means that your friends up here will probably get those top two, and this guy will get that bottom left one. Okay. So these four all have to go up at the same time, and the bobbing head shy guy operates the elevator. Okay. Seems simple enough. We just have to figure out what sequence to use these guys in. And uh, we got this structure in the back as well. So we'll probably have to um, use the elevator to leap over to it. Yeah. Uh, but let's go ahead and try to figure these guys out first. So. Um, what we probably want to do is find a position where we can, like, just move back and forth between them real quick. So that way we can get all those orbs activated at once. Um, which is probably not going to be from all the way out here. But we can't reach that far one. Hmm. Up here. And then... No, those bottom ones are too far away. Alright. Um, so... Let's, uh, let's just go ahead and see what's up the, uh, up the other way. Alright, we have a shy guy up top there. And we're gonna have to go down... I hate these perspective changes. Mmm. This uh fishball triggers the inception horns. 
So it seems like it's some kind of amplifier. And if we move it close enough to this guy, we should be able to activate him. Yes. And that opens that door, which means we can bring it out here and uh, we can use this to trigger all these shy guys at once. Makes sense. That's easy enough. Uh, if I can go sideways, there we go. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Alright, so now that that's settled, we have a bunch of seagulls nesting in this tower. Um, I don't think they're part of the puzzle though. <laughs> Let's go ahead and climb up this way. Oh, then up here we find the one fish ball to roll them all. And a nest. In real life, that seagull would have freaked out. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we have this shy guy over here. And I'm trying to be careful not to jump, even though I really want to get up on that ledge to kind of see. Alright. Can't yell at him from here, so we obviously do need the amplifier to get to him got a couple more guys over there which look like they might be part of a different puzzle oh but we got these guys up here okay and that did something so is this guy this guy must be this guy must be the third one so we have to figure out a way to get all these active that still doesn't trigger him. How about now? No? And that last one right there looked like it was out of range. Alright, so maybe if we bring this over here, we can trigger this guy, right? Yeah, okay, he finally gets triggered. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. I see. So then we have to trigger the three of those. So we'll just uh, bring this guy over here. And uh, we'll holla at your boys. And I should do it. Except for the top thing is closed now. All right, so this is going to be one of those things where we have to get this first guy, then rush over here, and then get those last guys. Yeah. Ha! Boom, easy enough. Oh, oh, is the birdie okay? That, that thing clearly fell on top of the bird. But that is one tough bird. Look at that, He's shaking it off. He was like, I don't even care. <laughs> oh man, I spent too much time alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, it would make sense to keep climbing up, right? Yeah, because I mean, there's platforms up there, which means there's either something else we have to do up here, or there's something else we can collect. So let's hop on over to this platform while the seagulls circle me in our little hint ledge right here. Uh, we'll get up top of this, and uh, that is incredibly dangerous looking. You know what? Let's let's think about this real quick. Let's think about this. If uh, if you were a kid, think back to when you were a kid, or if you're still a kid, just. Just tell me, tell me what you would do if you were stranded on a deserted island full of uh, ancient ruins and puzzles and towers and stuff like that. Would you be uh, parkouring your way around? Like, would that be your first, uh, your first instinct is to like leap <laughs> onto ledges of towers and climb up vines and stuff like that? Because, like, your ultimate goal, I'm guessing. Oh, bird nest over here. The, the ultimate goal, right, is to make it home. And you want to make it home safe. And safe means making it home alive. 
So I don't know if um if I'd be parkouring up the sides of massive towers. Because it's going to be kind of hard for you to get home if you're a puddle. Like if you just splat on the ground right there. Like way down there, just splat and you're a puddle. You're not getting home as a puddle. And if you do, and if you do, it's going to be in some kind of container, which is not optimal. That being said, let me parkour my way around this giant tower. And, um, how do I get up there? How in the world do I get up there? Alright, so I'm guessing this grass is like the hidden ledge, right? So, yeah, we can climb up that. And then we can climb up this right here. Okay, cool. And then it seems like the next logical step is to scream at the massive fishball. Ooh, I got a trophy. Careful steps. Um, am I am I being too cautious? Is that what that's telling me? Am I being too cautious now? <laughs> oh, somebody's beating that bass drum. He did something. Alright, so we filled up our swimming pool. Cool, cool, cool. And we became experts at herbology, which is awesome. We just made a tree. A fall tree. An autumn tree. <laughs> Actually, what we've done, it seems, is we've activated everything. We've activated the entire island. All puzzles are now solved. Thank you very much. That was just for good measure. <laughs> anyway, we need to now hardcore parkour our way down to the ground safely and carefully in such a way that does not end up with us being a puddle. So, just lower ourselves, come over here to the stairs, and drop. All right. And now, now I think what the next order of business is going to be is to... Oh, it's our fox... Mulder! Hey, Mulder! You little jerk. <laughs> you told me to go that way. Now, I've got to... I've definitely got to be more careful with the way I'm facing. Because, uh, yeah. That was not intentional. Um, gravity... You win again. You are a cruel, cruel lady. And I can do front flips. That... <laughs> Again, not recommended. Not recommended to do front flips over a, like, three-story gap onto a stone surface. Alright, um, so it looks like we're back to the, the start. We're not really the start, but the the amphitheater, the main area. We're back to the, the amphitheater. This place is gorgeous. Like, just look at it. This place is beautiful. You look confused. Mm. You okay? <laughs> well, let's uh, let's go ahead and see if we can knock this next one out real quick before we end this episode. So I think before we head over there, we're going to go up this way because we have not been this way yet. And we'll see what confusion awaits us. Um, okay, so it looks like we have uh, the door frame, right? That door frame. And then I guess the uh, that's the bridge. And then that's the building with me and the door frame on top of it. So I guess I have to carry it up there, right? <laughs> Let's go figure this out. Don't run away from me, I'm nice. I'm here to help you. Listen, that is incredibly dangerous. I'm gonna go up this way. <laughs> oh man, okay, no, I can't go up this way. I actually, hey, guy, hey, hey, boar. I need your help, I need your help. Um, let me grab one of these giant fruits. You know what this means. It is dinner time. Alright, come on up here. And, uh, go get it! Okay. Those, uh, those bobbing head shy guys are so creepy. And so is this place. Let's see if we can, uh, get some extra lighting here. We have another glowing fish ball. It's another glowing fish ball puzzle. 
Well, I didn't really help too much as far as lighting goes, but hopefully you guys can see. Like I said, if, if, if it's dark for you guys, it's dark for me as well. We're in this together. All right, so we have lighting and we have stairs. So, um, we do not get a second fish ball to put on this pedestal. So that means we need to get this first pit fish ball over to that pedestal, which is not happening Something like that. Can't run it across. So, I mean, obviously it's not a speed puzzle. Uh, the stairs retract way too quick. So let's just have a look around real quick and we'll figure out what exactly we need to do. Um, okay, well, I don't think the side pedestals are part of the puzzle, um, but you never know. All right, so I think, I think we need to maybe get a second fish ball somehow. So if we take this off of there and we just kind of stow it off to the side, Because they don't seem to spawn, or um, it doesn't seem to spawn another fish ball while it's on the pedestal, right? So, if we go ahead and grab this one while it's off of the pedestal, then that first one disappears. All right. Well, can we launch it up? Launch the fish ball up there? No, we cannot. But. I think at this point it's kind of obvious what we actually do need to do. <laughs> we just need to, the, the, the key to solving this puzzle <laughs> is brute force. The key to solving the puzzle is brute force, go figure. <laughs> we'll just throw it across. Alright. It works for me. No, let's not launch it. Alright, that takes us outside. Breathe in that fresh air. That is something I need to do this weekend. I need to get outside and get some sunshine and enjoy that fresh air. Hopefully the weather's decent. I'll have to check on that. But that's something that I have not been getting enough of lately is fresh air and sunlight. Um, something tells me... Hold on, Fox Mulder. I'm on my way, but there's... Just hold on a second. Something tells me I might want to check out what's down here before I head up. Because this is kind of a little, like, semi-hidden area. It's off the beaten track, and there's nothing over here. Because what I was thinking was, I, hadn't, I haven't gotten a piece of pizza in this game for quite a while. I haven't had pizza in real life in quite a while, either. Alright, so two things to put on my list for this weekend. We need to get outside and get some pizza. Anyway, Fox Mulder, just hold your paws, dude, I'm coming. Hold your fluffy tail. I know you're just going to disintegrate as soon as I get up here anyway. Yeah, see? See? Oh, we were friends. You're like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm waiting for you, I'm waiting for you. And I'm gone. And I'm gone. All right, so anyway, <laughs> let's figure out what we need to do in here. Let's look around real quick. So we got this, uh... All right, so it's a fishball puzzle. My favorite type of puzzle. Not really. Um, so this one makes that pedestal up there go down. And this one seals off our entrance. It makes that block go up. Okay. Okay. And if we um, put like, okay, so you see how it has that other fishball right there? I'm assuming that if we drop this fishball right here, because I want to get it on, that, on top of that pedestal to the, to the that way. If we put that right there and we take this fishball out, I'm assuming the same thing happens is that that one disappears, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, it does. Okay. So. So. What we need to do is figure out which one of these allows us to proceed. Which is probably this one, since it has a climbable ledge. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just kind of look around real quick. And we'll figure out what we need to do. So, I mean, can't really do that. Oh! Okay. <laughs> so we do get fishball number two. We do get a second fishball. Alright, well that makes things so much easier. Attention to detail, Lobo. Attention to detail. We discussed this not even that long ago. Alright, so we'll put fishball number two down right here. And then we'll head back down to our friendly fishball number one. And then we will move this over here to lower that pedestal. So fishball number one, you stay there. And then we'll head back up to our friendly fishball number two. All right, and we'll pick this guy up. No, don't you, don't you roll off the edge. Okay, so fishball number two goes here. That lowers that. Okay, okay. I see what we're doing here. All right, so back to fishball number one. We take fishball number one off this pedestal. And, um... Did you hear that? That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, anyway, fishball number one goes here. And that opens that door. And um, then we can proceed, correct? Yeah, I mean, that's it. Okay, cool. You know, I love it. I love that feeling when that uh, little light bulb in your head just flicks on. That's awesome. That's all we're doing here? That is apparently all we're doing. All right, very cool, very cool. So uh, yeah, I guess we can call this puzzle solved. Let's go ahead and snatch up this key real quick. And I guess that's uh, where we're gonna call it for episode four. So um, yeah, um, I'm gonna keep playing. I'll go ahead and knock out episode five. That will be up shortly. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out with me today. And until next time, I'm Lobo and I will see you guys later.